What I like about Czechs is their sense of humor. Um, when two Americans meet, they g tend to give each other some advice or support and stuff. Czechs will be telling jokes to each other. That's what the texture of life was like, like what you saw in those short films, including the really absurd, the apartment, you know, that, that was very much the, the life I grew up in. Not war, but love and friendship. And the local grannies agreed with them. It, it brings back memories. That's that's what it looked like. That's what it, for, I was 15 at the time. You know, I was not far from. I was dealing with my teachers cutting our hair because it was too long. <laughs> Still. Uh, the images you see here are shot in Prague, Prague, and the rest of Czechoslovakia was a different story. The rest of Czechoslovakia was a different, there was another gradient culturally between Prague and where I lived. My father had been embezzling money at, the, at his job for the previous 13 years, so for him it was a deliverance. We left, not for political reasons, but we were escaping from his Thing. And he was, he gambled all the money away. <laughs> he did spend some of that money. Uh, there was some political prisoner who came came home from uranium mines basically to die, and he sent him to a spa and paid for him and stuff. So that's what got us to America. Is how he convinced the Americans that he that his work was really political work in the <laughs> in the trenches of the Cold War. And I think for him it was a liberation, for us it was a total tragedy, but you know, we left one year after and I was young and naive and I didn't think that, because I felt the power of the response of the people that you saw in the oratorium, and I didn't think that it could be swept away so quickly as it was eventually. So at the age of 16 I was thinking there's, you know, there's so much behind this. Nobody can really destroy it, being a naive teenager. So for me it was tragic. The tanks breaching the barricades. Before noon of the 21st of August, Prague was occupied. It was a brutal lesson in the in, in the way the world the world works. To see how quick how quickly the neo-Stalinists were able to establish power, establish themselves, and and basically for twenty years rule the country. <laughs> 